Well, I'm in the spot where I found the ichthyosaur skull, a crocodile block recently, and I've just found another one, but it's, it's a bit worn. But let's see it anyway. Can you make it out yet? Damn, look at that. Paddle digits, big verts, little verts, ribs. There's still an opportunity for more to be in there, so I'll take it back with me anyway, but I mean, that's a shame that. So originally this line was already cracked, this wasn't though so I've just given it a quick tap and as I've opened it up I've gone oh my days I'm not sure whether it's a Trago either but we'll soon find out I've just seen something that might be quite rare I'm really really hoping it's what I think it is right I haven't moved this yet but that's crinoid oh holy crap oh my god oh oh my days holy cow Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> Unreal! Whoa! What a find! Why didn't I have any bubble wrap on me? Oh no! I'm gonna have to really protect this. Whoa! Check this beautiful Amalthius out. All the calcitic chambers are there. It split off the shell but then left the calcite. That's beautiful, that. So I'm pretty pleased with this. So there's a tiny little Amalthius here, or a Pleuroceros. But right there, look, is a gastropod. And they're pretty damn rare in Whitby. So that'll come back with me, that. I've only had one other example from this location of a gastropod. Very pleased. So this is by no means what I'd usually take back, but this is absolutely jam-packed with uh, fish scales. And there's a couple of little Eleganticeros ammonites in there. So I think I'm gonna take that back. Because that's an interesting piece, that. Just picked up this usual block that I see. Bellamites everywhere. A few nice ammonites. A few imprints. So there's probably more in there. That's the other side of it. We'll take that home and prep that. So unfortunately, I don't think somebody's hit this. I think this has just crashed and landed. But right here is an Amalthius. Looks beautiful. There's a lot of suture patterns here. So I'm going to try and chisel this out. Well, that was hard work. But right there, look. Suture patterns all there. That is a nice Amalthius. Hopefully it's all in there. But we'll only find out once we prep it. Get in. Get in! Look at that! Beauty! So I've just picked up this nodule. As you can see it's typical with the Pleuroceros. There is a Pleuroceros ammonite there, although it is very, very worn. But we're going to hit this open in live time. Let's get something good out of this. I hope so anyway. So while I'm doing this, do me a favour. Hit the subscribe button down there, please. Nothing in that side. Because when you hit the subscribe button, it helps me. And the more subscribers I have, as ridiculous as it sounds, the better the videos do. Which means I can reach more people and show off this absolute incredible hobby. Slash passion project for me at this point, but yeah. Oh, I felt it go there. Wow. I can't believe this hasn't split. <sighs> wow. Oh, that hit hard. Nope, nothing in that bit. Let's go there. Here we go. Nothing in that bit. Wow, this has ended up being absolutely rubbish. <sighs> oh, garbage. Well, I'm pretty pleased here. I always say, if somebody's already hit a nodule or a rock or whatever you want to call it, and there's fossils contained inside, just like in here, look, there's bits of shells on the reverse of it and everything. But some people always either miss stuff or they're just not bothered about it. Now, right here is a Pleuroceros ammonite. 
beautiful. So I'm going to trim this block down and get that out. Don't know why anybody would leave it, but I love my Pleuroceros ammonites. Well, that's a bummer. That would have been a really nice hildy. Would have been a good size too. Oh well. So, just found this uh, really big flipping dinner plate size nodule. Never usually have any luck with these, but I'll give it a tap. It looks like it's broken in a few sections, so if there's some in, it's probably going to be a naff, but moment well, of truth. If I can get it out. Oh, that looks like a Hildy. You ready? Oh my god. Oh, that's big. That's really big. Wow. That's going to uh, add some weight in my bag. Flipping heck. Brilliant. Chuffed to bits with that. That's good stuff. I'm hoping this might be good. As you can see right here in Elegantisaurus. Still in its nodule, it's still in this big slab, so I'm gonna have to chisel this out. But this looks really promising, really promising. go all out in one get in so the good thing about this is this is untouched by the sea so this will polish up all gold as you can see right here you can see a tiny bit of the iron pie right that's already in it this will all be polished smooth and be pristine gold with a nice ammonite inside that's a corker of a fine for the day Now I'm pretty sure it's going to be gyrostius bone. Does look like it. Very, very fish-like, so it probably is. Almost had me for a uh, paddle or a humerus. But lovely dap that I'll have ever raid up. I mean, there is bone. Oh, is that bone? It looks like more bone on the top, but that's very pyritic, so that might be really difficult to prep. But that side I'll definitely take home. That's beautiful, that. Bear with me. I'm going to try to chisel this bell knight out and see if it's got a fragma cone. Nice loose slab. Let's go. Well, unfortunately, no fragma cone. It was just the starting of it, but nothing else. I'll leave that in there. If somebody else wants it, they'll be able to get it. That'll last a week or two. Really nice piece, though. Another really nice piece of fish bone. Cool. Might even be similar to the other piece that I picked up earlier on that. I'll take it. I'll tell you something, that is a very, very big fragma cone for a bellum knight. You can see where it's just coming out there. This would have been where the body was. Wow. That would have been a monster. I might take that back. Look at this lovely bellum knight. Should come out that bit. Look at that. The colours are stunning on it. I'll tell you something. I do love a Hildy. Look at that little beauty. The mouth board is perfectly complete. Oh, it's what I wanted today too. I wanted a really nice Hildy. It's been a while since I've had one. Stunner, big size too. And that is not a terrible Hildy at all. Lovely mouth border. 
I'm not going to bother with this side. The amount of calcite and pyrite that's mixed in with this is absolutely terrible, so it'll stay as it is. But that's not bad for a hildy, that. So all these are uh, potential nodules to hit. Some of them might have fossils in, some of them might not. I'm not going to video me hitting these, as I've got nowhere to put my phone. I don't want it to get wet, so you just have to bear with me today. Sorry, guys. I'll take that. One duck out of all of them, but it's quite nice. Really lovely centre. Bit broken off all around here, but I think that would have broken off in prep. Beautiful. Currently just browsing through all the material. That's the one that I just left there. Oh, what's that? Look at that. Big piece of wood. Oh. Look at that. Wow. I'm hoping this has got something in it. looked really promising. I didn't video it before I hit it, unfortunately, but it's hitting two pieces. So there's a piece here and a piece here. So we'll take this piece off first. Oh, there we go, look. Oh, come on. There's a lot of Elegantisaurus in there. Bust through one or two, but there's one there, look, one there. They're all clustered in there. That's beautiful. I'm pretty pleased with that. Have you noticed it? Right there. Ah, oh, it's not all there. What a shame. So, this is how it's split. So, you get things called pathologies, which is like a difference. That's hard, very hard to explain, but let's say something bit that right there and it grew back. You can see how it just dips in there and there's no ribs there. That's a pretty interesting find. I'm not going to put that in my bag as it's just not worth it. It's not complete on the other side, but it's a cool pathology that. Right, I've just hit this. This is one of them where you really want to take it back, but is it really worth it? So, when you zoom in, there's just little Dactyloceros gracils absolutely everywhere in this. It's really tempting to take. How I've just noticed this in this storm, I don't know, but tiny little Dac. It's like being in uh, Dorset with their little pyrite from microservices. Look at that. It's even got a little pedestal, beach prepped. That's beautiful, I'm putting that in my pocket. I've just hit this nodule. Look at that one there. Another one here. Then, one in there. Might be another one or two underneath. And then another one in there. Some lovely colours on that one. Flipping it. Imprint there. Woo! This looks like a keel. Either a hildy or an Ovatisaurus. Let's find out. Please be an Ovatisaurus. Nah, it's a hildy. But it's a nice hildy. Keel's there on that side. Get in. Room down at the bottom for maybe another one too. Woohoo! Well, get in. I can spy a nodule just in here, so I'm gonna have to move this. Bloody hell, that's a big block. Oh, that don't look too bad. Right then. Let's see if we can get something out of this. Oh, that's a shame. As you can see here, as it's popped off, it's just completely pulled it away. It's all calcite preservation inside. It's up to you if you ever want to take these back and glue them up and prepare them, but it's never worth it, I promise you. Just put them back. But still cool to see. So yeah, as I was saying, it doesn't matter how many times I find these, it never gets boring. Just notice this here. Got some chambers there. Oh, that's not terrible. Little uh, Dactyloceros semisolatum. Lovely. I'll leave it here, but that's a nice one, that one, very piratized. Little poor popper, but I'll show you for the camera. There you go. <laughs> I can't repeat how many times I can say this but nothing beats this for me like that that's what makes it all worth it it, it really does I could go on right now I'm, I'm done I'm happy look at that phylloceros body chamber wow that's 
That's, I've not got big hands, by the way, but that is huge. That is unbelievable. Can you see it? Look at that. Pre-flipping prepped and all. Oh. Look at that little beauty. You don't get that lucky very often. It's a bit squished and whatnot, but belter.